Hi, and welcome to another policy video from Gravity.io. This time, we're talking about the dynamic routing policy. So this policy is used to dispatch inbound calls to different targets and endpoints. And to show you what a strong policy it is, let's crack on with a demo. So let's first of all head over to Postman. And you can see that we're using our Acme Travel um, endpoint. And if we send in the request, then currently it's just returning travel data. Okay, but let's add some dynamic routing to that particular um, API. So at the moment, this is our API. What we're going to do is first of all, head over to proxy endpoints and add some endpoints here. So we go to add and we'll say echo and let's make sure I get the URL right. So copy it from there, paste it into here and save. Okay, I'm going to add another couple as well. One, I'm going to call time. And the last one, I'm going to call who am I? Great. So who am I? Okay, that's great. So now I've got three extra endpoints here. Now head back over to design and let's add the dynamic routing policy. Grab that, drag that on there, and we're going to add a new rule. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the documentation here and pick up an example from there. And what this is going to say is that use the incoming rest request and use the last parameter in it to actually understand where to do the redirection. Okay, and this is the expression language to do that. So essentially it uses the end the endpoint that we've configured in the proxy page and it uses the group the um, first array element of the incoming request there. So let's save that and let's deploy our API. Okay, now we've deployed, let's head over back over to Postman and see what happens. So what we're going to do is first of all, add time as the end of the rest request and let's see what happens. We can see now the timestamp comes back. If we add echo, then echo comes back, the output of echo. And then who am I? Who am I comes back. So in a really straightforward way, what we've been able to do is just understand what that last parameter is in the URL and use it to re redirect to the relevant endpoint using group, um, the first array of the group array. And we've actually added some endpoints there. And it will um, um, go to the relevant endpoint. One thing we actually can do as well, and it's worth knowing this, is that if we delete this um, particular policy and save, okay, and now because we haven't got these endpoints, we've re removed the dynamic routing policy. So it's worth understanding what will happen next. So if we now hit that, it will go to Acme Travel. It will go to what time? And it will go to all those endpoints in a round robin fashion. So because we haven't added dynamic routing and we've got those four endpoints, it's going to go round those four endpoints in a in a, a round robin fashion. The dynamic routing policy helps us to navigate to the right endpoint depending what the last parameter is. So thanks for joining me on this video. Super useful policy. Um, I'm sure you'll kind of find it very useful when you're building your APIs. Thank you. Bye.